Oh, look at that. Just a little tiny cooler on the processor and a duct. <laughs> like it actually does something. I wonder if this might benefit from an extra fan. Had to put a network card in. That's a Belkin card, I believe. See the yellow wires coming off the right side. That was for uh, Wake on LAN, I think. And is it even connected? Nope, just sitting there because I don't think the board supported it. One of the few cards that supported that, they used to have a little connector for it. Um, it's a little dust around those caps, but nothing blown. It did fire up after all these years, so that's saying something. You see here? Look. See how tight that was? To get in there, I had to like slide the drive out and plug the connector in with no room. You know, just with this room I had in here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this has been, uh, this has been around the block. Definitely been around the block. I really don't know about this hard drive. I'm certainly questioning it. So I think the next best thing is to run some diagnostics on it. But the problem we have is this damn thing. 15 inches is what I have. And this thing, I don't think is going to work, because this is more than 15. So I have to pop the front of the case, and there's some clips. And then you got to work some magic, so let me get the front off of it. Also worth mentioning is this stupid... CD storage thing that they put on the top of it like that. That was the thing for a few years, so that was that. I think there's a there's a hole here that I think you have to stick something in to pop it. But I don't remember, so let me get something and we'll try it. There's a screwdriver. Oh, something sounded like it popped. There, see? Oh, I remembered that. And the other side also has clips that you will never be able to get off. I get two of them. And that last one, ugh, that wasn't a good sound. Does the side panel actually come off? Oh, I think it does. Will this screwdriver work? Yeah, just barely. It's a flat, not a Phillips, but hey, for an old piece of crap. Ugh! There, just made it. Does this come off? Yes! <laughs> yeah, does it give you access? Actually, it does. Yes. There. Okay. So now we got the front off. The, the thing you put the screwdriver in for is this tab right here. That pushes that down and removes this thing. So maybe I didn't need to do that. But I remembered it was there. Yuck, what an ugly turd. Well, that's that. Now that that's off, how does this thing get removed? Well, it went on, so it has to come off. I don't care if I break it off, really. I really don't. Maybe I should disconnect all the wires before I end up breaking other stuff that I don't need anyway. There. Let's put it like that. And I think there's a tab and then it might slide back. There's the tab.
forward? No. Back? No. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to play with this for a bit and see how in the hell this thing comes off. Because I don't know. This is not a piece that you would normally remove. They didn't want you to remove it. But like I said, it went on, so it's got to come off. And it's certainly not welded to the thing. It's plastic, so it's got to come off. In fact, looks like there's a... Oh, it's just open there. Okay. All right, well, let me play with this for a bit, and I'll see if I can get it off. There we go. It sort of slid, but it was just olded in place. You can see all the tabs on it. So, yeah. Another thing that's got to go are these rubber feet on it because they are going to be too long as well. So we'll take those off and put them in the collection for possibly another system that might never need them because this was HP's not so valiant effort to make the machine level. And there we go. All right. So let me get this hooked back up and see if I could find a diagnostic disc and let it run for a bit. It has forgotten the CMOS settings already, showing to the quality of the battery in it. This is millennial edition, so this was what, around 99, 2000? So this system is uh, pushing some time. F2 to resume. Oh, the drive works still? Holy crap! And check this out, it even has the play button on it. Awesome. Okay, processor, celery processor, like I said, run all tests, I'm sure that's going to work. This machine is obviously 32-bit only. Well, that worked. Motherboard is also a quick test, so we'll do that. This CD-ROM drive was interesting because, I don't know if you heard, unless I sped the footage up, which I think I did, <laughs> trying to think post-processing before it happens, the drive sort of slows the disk down in steps, which is interesting. That's uh, something you don't see much anymore. We'll do the cache memory. 16L1 and 128L2, those are kilobytes, of course. If you can see, it says 1 by 254 meg total modules. Now, it's 256. They're using 1 meg for video memory, so you tell me where the other meg went. Conventional memory? I don't know. Okay. Here's the cache profiler that gives you a curve that only smart people know what it means. And being it's an Intel Celery processor, it probably is going to look similar to a graph that a Pentium 4 will produce, which is exactly what we are seeing here. Oh, an 80 column text mode. Uh, and the video memory. Yay! And now we'll test the system RAM. 
and I'll just come back when this is done because I don't know how long it's going to take. There we go, just finished and everything passed. Now we'll go to the hard drive. I like to do the internal cache test. If that locks up anywhere along the way, then uh, that's an indication that could be a bad drive. Seems to be moving along just fine there. And the smart test, if it supports it. If any errors come up here, that's an indication the drive is failing. But, it doesn't appear that there's any problem. Oh, it's a Mac store drive. Wow, you don't see those anymore, huh? C8H command. I don't know what the fuck that means. What it is. Um, the clickety clunk of the sound of the drive, I think, is normal on these. We used to have a 17.1 gig. Yes, they made odd sizes like that back in the day. On my old Dell Pentium 2 450 megahertz, if I remember correctly. And uh, that made clickety clunk sounds too. So it looks like everything is good here. Uh, I think at this point I'm going to set this up to do some more extended hard drive testing just to ensure if all of that is okay then we'll call it good but uh, I think that's going to be it for this part of this turd of the machine I measured now with the thing off on the bottom it should fit might just be a hair off if it's a hair off then this faggotry on top will be able to come off and uh, somehow and then it'll definitely fit but otherwise it looks like we're good so I'll do some extended testing and I think the next thing is to reinstall the OS fresh and get it set up and throw her into service so thanks for watching this part there will be another part or 74 of this machine Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.